Yo, what's up? It's your boy Walter Emmanuel Jones, also known as Zach, the original Black Ranger. Hey! Hi, it's Amy Jo Johnson, Kimberly Pink Power Ranger. Hey, this is David Jost, the original Mighty Morphin Blue Power Ranger. And you're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? It's time for the fan club. Let's go! Hey! These past few weeks have had fans questioning if Power Rangers is a top priority to Hasbro. Now, I don't believe it is a top priority. I believe it is a priority of some sorts, like they care about it. I don't think that they're shelving the brand or we're going to go four or five years without seeing Power Rangers but they are moving some pieces around and it seems like they are caring about some of their other brands more, especially the ones that are making them more money. Now, something that got me thinking today is on Hasbro Pulse's website, they had a San Diego Comic-Con 2023 booth tour now they were going through all of the booths and magic had a big booth star wars marvel had a giant booth transformers had multiple booths they had a beast wars old 90s memorabilia booth they had new rise of the beast stuff they had uh the new transformer show on nickelodeon they had toys for that they had a couple things for G.I. Joe, and then you had Power Rangers, and it was one set up with like lightning collection figures, and that was about it. There was a bunch of different lightning collection from MMPR, from the Cobra Kai series. They had some of the power weapons, some of the Ninjetti Rangers. Like it was cool. They had a Megazord or two, they had the Alien Ranger five pack. But that was it. It was one nice setup for Power Rangers. And I think that this describes Power Rangers to in Hasbro's eyes perfectly. Now, they had this whole setup of celebrating 100 years of Hasbro and kind of celebrating the big brands and what they have out. And everyone else had more than one display. They had like four or five displays in one. And Power Rangers was one of the few that had a smaller display. Like G.I. Joe had a small display, but then they also had some throwback toys from the 80s because, you know, it was the 100th anniversary of Hasbro, so they were throwing some old toys. Now, obviously, they weren't going to bring no Bandai 90s toys in here, but it would have been nice to see Dino Fury, Cosmic Fury, some toys from the Beast Morpher line, like give us some throwback a little bit, but no, we got some stuff they're selling right now but nothing new nothing for 2024 which that kind of scares me are the talks true that the lightning collection is going on a pause when you take a look at the display there are a nice amount of power ranger figures but they're all from one series the lightning collection there is nothing else there are no new helmets there are no new morphers there's nothing relatively brand new except for stuff that we already knew was coming out correct it is a little weird and we wonder if we are going on a hiatus with the show and with the toys moving forward because all of the other brands got more of a focus even gi joe had more which i put power rangers kind of on that level it's like a throwback brand that has a giant fandom but it's not as big as it used to be it is weird now obviously they care because if they didn't care about power rangers there wouldn't be a setup here for it right that's what i mean like it is a priority like they care about power rangers but power rangers only makes a fraction of what these other products make or they would have way more of a section for it so obviously you can want something but if the numbers don't translate into money into a profit you can't do it i was literally just watching an episode of bar rescue where the guy had a hookah bar and the host had to tell him like hey you can't have a hookah bar in this area no one cares about hookah you're losing money turn this into a nightclub turned it into a nightclub and it was amazing now i am just thinking about power rangers as a whole where do we move forward with this 
we can't necessarily turn this into something it's not but i think i've liked what hasbro has done the last few years i know some of the fans are hating but what were they supposed to do they came in and they didn't want to change everything right away they need to give themselves some time for a plan to action now dawson rider brought up a good point that maybe they took too long a little bit where they needed to be in the middle take your time to give us a good project but jump on it now we've taken our time and now we can't even get into this project it is crazy because there's a chance that we might not get any power rangers till 2025 or maybe even 2026 i hope not because i love talking power rangers with y'all but i just wanted to kind of talk about this and if you probably didn't notice it isn't that hard to if you look at hasbro as a whole they have so many other brands power rangers is not the top priority now i'm hoping that they take some of those resources that they have with transformers and push that into power rangers this brand can be taken to the next level if they do it right i'm hoping that this doesn't go on a super long hiatus but it could happen what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I want to shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this. So thank you guys so much, and we will see you next time. Peace. I want to give a very special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Dig Wyron, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Morazes, Willie Maloney, Louis Cairns, and Salimo Ramirez. Thank you guys so much for being a member. And if you want video shout outs like this one, sign up to become a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. We, we have been are requested, requested by, by the fan club to say something funny.